Hey guys, this is Leon, the Nomad Detailer, coming at you. I'm underneath a DRV right now, and we're doing the butt wiggle fix. And just to give you a bearing of where we're at, we're at the rear of the unit. Here's the rear bumper. There's your receiver tube. This is where your spare tire goes. All right. So when you drop your spare tire and your spare tire carrier, you're going to be looking at this. There's your license plate hold hole there. And I'm going to slide this under here. And what you're going to see here is a piece of aluminum rectangle channel here. All right, I'm going to turn the camera. There we go. And then right here is your floor. Here's your floor right here behind this joist. This piece of foam you see here with a little bit of material on the side, that's your wall. This is a support piece that's attached to the rear cap. This screw you see right here that's broken or backed completely out. I'm going to screw it out right here live on, on the camera while I'm recording. This is all that DRV uses to secure the rear cap to the floor is these three long wood screws. Okay, they don't hold. Alright, so we're going to fix this and I'll show you the fix. But before we do this, I'm going to have Jimmy shake the rig real quick. There's the screw they use. Look at that thing. And I want you to watch right here where it meets the floor. I want you to look at that movement. All right, Jimmy, go ahead and shake it. All right, as you notice there, the rear cap is moving and the floor is not. It's just kind of swaying back and forth. Now, okay, that's good. Now, this one's not nearly as bad as some I've seen, but he's having trouble keeping his trim on his basement doors and everything back here. Um, and the trim piece on the bottom, he can't keep anything sealed. So it's definitely enough movement causing a problem. So we're going to fix that, and once it's all done, I'll come back in with another video and uh, take a picture and a video of the fix, and we'll share that with you guys. All right, till part two. This is Leon out. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, Jimmy just finished this repair, and I want to sh show you guys what he did here. All right, so <clears throat> what we did, we came in here with some 3 by 4 I'm sorry, not three by four. Uh, I'm sorry, one and a half by three, I believe it is. One and a half by three, sorry. Uh, piece of angle here. I'll show you it in a second, what it looks like on the outside. Um, we then took and we drilled up through this tube right here, this aluminum tubing, and we put grade eight bolts, okay? It's got a bolt coming down. It's got a washer. It comes down. It's got a washer. It's got a lock washer, and it's been Loctite red. And then a nut on it okay we did that in three places all right right there all right and then on the inside here the side here we came through with another grade 8 bolt a washer and then if we turn this around there you go another washer a lock washer and a nut and he put a couple drops of, of uh, Loctite red on the threads inside the nut there and then that's also done in three places so hey Jimmy yes, sir. are you available to go ahead and shake it all right guys so I, I'm gonna have him shake it here in a second let me get the camera in position all right go ahead and shake it there it is. He's shaking it. It's one solid piece now. Everything's shaking together. And so let me show you with the material here. Oh, let's see if we got a piece here. Uh, we don't have the exact piece we have here. This is for the spare tire repair. But uh, anyway, it's a piece of uh, angle like this, except for that end is... Uh, I think it's two and a half or three inches on one side and an inch and a half on this side of the flange. And uh, again, we're talking about that area right there. Here's your spare tire area. There's the back and there's the repair. He did a really good job. They are not going to have any more butt wiggle there.